<laughs> Why do I look like I'm like a therapist? Like, welcome to my living room. <laughs> what is up everyone? It's Harlow and I'm back for a hot minute. Actually, hopefully longer than a hot minute, but hi, I missed you, love you. <laughs> when I first heard the news about this whole cheating scandal, I was like, and my mom was like, and we were like, because I actually went to high school with Olivia Jade and I know the school she was at and I thought I would sit right here today and share a little bit of my tea with y'all. So stay tuned for a little ice chai tea. So I'm just gonna preface this with a little backstory so it kind of makes a little more sense. So about a year ago, I moved to Los Angeles for my junior year of high school and I'm a senior right now and I no longer go to this school. So for my junior year, I moved to Los Angeles and which is kind of like a hard adjustment, you know, to move middle of high school, but I've been to like five high schools, so. Long story short, I ended up at this super elite private school in the middle of Los Angeles. Overall, I would say this was a big mess. <laughs> Anyways, I remember when I toured this high school, which I'm not gonna say the name because your girl is not trying to get sued. So, I remember when I was touring the school, I saw a picture of Olivia Jade's sister, actually, on the wall with the seniors, and it was like, Congratulations, I forget her name, Bella or something, for getting into USC. And I was like, oh wow, that's crazy. Like, USC is super hard to get into. And then I remember hearing later that Olivia had also gotten into USC. And I was like, wow, that's like kind of crazy because USC is very extremely hard to get into. So not only one sister, but both of them. Yeah, so that was just kind of like, I was like, I mean, I guess maybe it's because her mom's a celebrity. Maybe she donates a lot of money or paid someone to pretend like her daughters are on the rowing team, you know, either way. <laughs> but I am personally from a very extremely tiny town. Like it's pretty much so microscopic, you can't even see it on a map. So coming to Los Angeles and coming to was like a complete culture shock. I thought it would be different because it was all girls and we all wore uniforms, so it's like, okay, people will still be nice even if I don't live in a $30 million mansion like they do. They can still be nice, probably, right? Because there's no boys to compete over and there's no clothes to compare. I started school and it was probably one of the worst school experiences of my life. And I have been to, and this is probably the worst out of all of them. I remember when I started school, I still had a lot of acne and was generally just a little bit of a hot mess. I remember being just like super insecure, feeling like all of the girls were looking at me like, oh, like I definitely did not feel like I fit in with anybody there. All of the girls there are like driving like Range Rovers, Porsches, and like their whole world. Their parents are celebrities. And it was just like this whole culture that I just did not fit in at all. Like, at all. I'm super, I don't know, I just don't care about material stuff. Like, I really could not care less. I love my Subaru, I love my life, I love my dogs. I don't need anything more to be happy. Got a great boyfriend, got a great mom. Like, I, I'm chilling. Being at this school kind of made me feel like sometimes Instagram makes me feel like, you know when you're on Instagram and you're like, you go on Instagram, you're like, ah, my life's great. And then you go and you see everybody else's lives and you're like, wow, my life is not good enough. It's kind of like what these girls do all the time, just comparing like, if you don't compare your outfits, okay, well, you're not wearing the new Gucci shoes, so you can't hang out with us. Like, it's not like that obvious, but it's like, it just felt kind of wrong from the start and I felt like I had to pretend to be a person I wasn't really, I had to pretend to care about like drama and gossip. From the beginning, I was like, this is not a good fit. Not even to mention the crazy amount of pressure that goes into these LA schools. So there's like a network of five to seven or so private schools in Los Angeles that are like 30 to 45,000 tuition every year. And the work is literally harder than college. It is insane what these students go through to go to these schools because their parents think they need to because they want them to get into Yale and Harvard and USC and if they can't get in, they'll just buy their way in, but either way. So I'd have to get up at six every morning and I would leave school at four, and then I'd have like six hours of homework. So this is when I started kind of thinking, like I would just see her around school. She seemed nice, she was like pretty, whatever. I had a class with her, I think. Like I, it was whatever to me, I didn't really think about it. But it just made me think like, how 
is she doing this? Like literally, I didn't have time to even do anything out of school other than school. And I was in easy classes. So I was just like confused. I was like, literally, how does she travel for YouTube? How does she have time to make YouTube videos? Like an arrangement with the school or something like I thought? It just didn't kind of make sense to me because these schools, it's your life is literally 100% school. When I went to school, it was shocking to me to come from Podunk Little NorCal to this school where all these girls were under so much stress that they were like taking Adderall on antidepressants, anti-anxiety, and it's like all this stress and pressure for like no point except to say that you went to this certain high school and I think that's why they go because like the rich people in LA want all of their kids to go to these schools so they can say they go to these schools so people know they pay $50,000 for their high school. It's a super weird world and to people who are outside of it, it just sounds stupid. Like, cause it kind of is. It just doesn't make any sense. Looping back to the point of Olivia Jade, I don't know what her grades were at this school, but seeing as I am a person who loves school and I do really well at school and I couldn't even handle the workload, I know that she's like publicly stated that she doesn't like school and she's like kind of just at college to party, which was very unfortunate timing for when the scandal came out. I can't even imagine making it through a school like that if you are not committed to school. Yeah, so that is my little story at that school, which kind of I feel like might put into perspective into perspective the amount of pressure she was probably under at the school and when this whole cheating scandal came out I'm not gonna say I was surprised because we're in that world kind of you hear a lot of stuff about like you know oh like oh my dad just like bought a building at LMU so I don't have to worry about getting in like that's not something that's uncommon and I feel like we've all known that like there's a lot of schools that are kind of pay to play the fact that she took away an athletic scholarship from someone who probably deserved it and didn't have the money to pay for USC and had been training all their life to be on the rowing team. Like the fact that she just, they, I, I literally, when you think about it though, it's just like crazy. Like they were like, yeah, let's Photoshop her face onto somebody and pretend she can row. Like I, when I was at the school, they tried to get me to join the rowing team and I am pretty sure she was definitely not even on the rowing team. It's just an interesting like plan of attack, but I think we can all agree it was probably in poor taste and I thought it was interesting. I saw on Twitter people were talking about besides Aunt Becky being like locked up, which is kind of crazy, but um, we're talking about how people are always questioning like how minorities got into colleges when maybe we should question mega rich people who don't deserve to be at the colleges. That's just like a little point to ponder. You know, seeing all of this like fall apart has been kind of crazy and I hope Olivia Jade's doing okay like I just it hasn't become clear if she knew what her mom did I have a hard time believing she didn't at the end of the day this kind of just made me reflect upon like this wealthy world that I like saw firsthand and wanted absolutely zero part of because those girls are not happier I'm sure she could have been just as happy at a college that she actually could have gotten into and she wouldn't be dealing with this like massive scandal in the whole world being upset I think this kind of brings like into major focus the privilege of being wealthy that we all know exists, but when you like are confronted with it in something as extreme as this, it's like, oh my god, like we do not live in a fair society. Like some people really do pay to play, which is not, it's not fair to people who actually deserve those spots at those colleges and education is something that's so important. And when somebody's like saying they're just doing college for fun, when other people it could be like the future of their family completely depends on them getting a college education. It just kind of leaves like a sour taste in your mouth. I don't know, I guess to each their own. This is just like my thoughts from kind of a little insider perspective. So you are all totally entitled to your own opinions. Anyways, I think this story, I think it's important to be grateful for everything that you have and be grateful for the person you are and realize that the person you are, the relationships you have, your impact on the world. There's so many butterflies, guys. The Butterflies are literally migrating and there's thousands of butterflies. It is the most incredible thing in the world. But anyways, take more pride in the person you are than the things you have because at the end of the day, things will not bring you lasting happiness and having a perfect Instagram will not bring you lasting happiness. Work hard for the things you have because obviously it doesn't seem like it feels very good to cheat your way to the top. Anyways, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, week, month, year, life. I love you and I will see you in my next video.